James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying this really pretty uh, Salvatore Ferragamo tie. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a cream colored tie with blue flowers throughout. It's got uh, really pretty blue uh, flowers in a geometrical pattern. A lot of my Ferragamo ties are cartoon characters or little drawings or animals, things like that. This one's just a classic with flowers. We're pairing that day with a light blue shirt that should bring some of this blue out and a navy blue suit. So we're going to tie this up here in just a minute, but first we always try to do a tie review. Uh, Salvatore Ferragamo ties are thin ties. They're not super thick, but this, just like all my other Ferragamo ties, the silk is just buttery smooth. It's smooth as can be. Lays really nice, of course, as you can see. Um, they're, all their ties are, that I've had are very high quality, great silk, some of the best feeling silk I think out there. So let's tie this thing up and see how it comes together. We'll do a quick tutorial on how to tie a tie. So the first thing we do is we find our spot. That's, what I mean by find the spot is we want to figure out what slack, how, how short does this need to be and how long does this need to be to make the perfect knot. And I know my body and, and I have a 16 and a half inch neck and so I know about how far I, I need based on the, the feel of the tie and you'll get that. Sometimes you have to tie a tie multiple times to get it right. The key is to have the tip of the tie, this part right here, be between the top and the bottom of your belt buckle that, and have a nice triangular knot. To me, that's the perfect tie. So with Salvatore Ferragamo ties, I'm usually right in this area right here as far as my spot. What well, I mean my spot is I, uh, or how I get that is I put my fingers on it. <coughs> Excuse me, a little dry throat some more. And then I put my arm straight down. And then this is how far down I need. So I know I need about this much slack here and I need this tie to be about right there. Okay, so we're going to take the long part of the tie over top of the short part, and we'll go up, behind, and through. Then we'll come around behind again, go in the other direction, up, over, down, and through. This is what I call a checkpoint. We want our tie to be coming together really nice here. Tidy it up, and then we come over the front, then we come back in behind, up, and through, and then we push down through this little pocket we've just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through, and now we tidy it up. We're going to take and turn the, the edges down, and we're going to hold the knot and pull on the uh, long part of the tie. And this makes this knot tighten up and turn into a really nice triangle. See that? And then we're going to pull on the shorter part of the tie and hold the knot, bring it up, and that's going to get us up to our neck. And now we want to check, because remember I told you we want this part of the tie to be between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. So let's look and see where we're at right now. Looks like it's about halfway down. It's absolutely perfect. So let's bring the collar down. And let's tidy it all up and see how it came together here. This sure has collar stays and sometimes they get stuck on the tie there, so I just had to fix that. I don't want any gap right here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten the knot just a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull the short part of the tie or the skinny part of the tie and hold onto the knot until I fill that gap completely. And then I want the tie to be in the middle. See that? Look how perfect that came together. Yeah, you can create a little dimple there. I didn't do that on purpose. Um, if you do want to create a dimple, you do it at, uh, when you, before you tidy up at the very end, tighten the knot. You push your dimple in as you tighten. That's how you do that if you want, if you want that. So uh, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I will go through it with you right now. Today I'm wearing actually my oldest Zinnia suit. It's an Amerta Gildo Zinnia uh, navy blue. And it has a high peak lapel. You can see uh, how high, you know, this is. Uh, it's a definitely a little bit of a different look than my notch uh, or my other lapels I usually I usually wear. But it's a beautiful suit. It's a pinstripe suit. Uh, so a navy blue Zinnia suit. We have on a light blue Brooks Brothers shirt. We have a cream with blue Salvatore Ferragamo tie. We're pairing that today with a nice shiny brown. Uh, Salvatore Ferragamo belt and silver belt buckle and a pair of brown Bally Oxfords. On my Instagram, Thai Guy James Akers, you'll see close-ups of the shoes and the belt, close-ups of the knot, selfies of me with the whole outfit on, as well as close-ups of the tie. So you can kind of see the whole outfit and how it came together there. So check out my Instagram, Thai Guy James Akers. If you enjoyed my videos, please click subscribe and like. I appreciate you guys. I am ready for work.